No. No? What you gonna do? Uh -uh. <laughs> Tell me what to do. <laughs> What's up guys? It's your girl Sylvia. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi. <laughs> I pretty much just make cooking videos. I really enjoy cooking. So if you're interested in that type of stuff, then just subscribe to my channel. So, Mother's Day is quickly approaching. I'm not too sure if you already got your gifts figured out or what, but if you don't, I got you. So, as you can see from the title of my video, you kind of already know what I'm making. But, I am really excited because I'm going to make a strawberry arrangement. So, I actually used to make these all the time with my mom. That was kind of something that we used to do a lot together, making like chocolate covered fruit a lot. And that would be kind of my gift a lot of times to people. I feel like like handmade gifts, handmade items, when you make something, it just hits the other person differently because you're actually really taking you know time and effort to making something look nice for them to be happy and I really, I really like that type of stuff so anyways with Mother's Day coming up I do want to give a quick shout out to all the moms out there who work really hard whether you're a single mom or you're married and you have you know your kids with you like I know how exhausting it can be to be you know taking care of a kid and keeping up with your household being a wife being a nurse having to do everything you know because a mom really plays so many roles when it comes to mother's day and father's day it makes me feel some type of way especially for the people who don't have their parents you know or people who didn't really grow up in a good home and they have other people who aren't their family who you know were a big part of their lives so that's kind of why i wanted to give a quick shout out to all of everyone pretty much if you have someone who's inspiring in your life someone who kind of gave you a good example uh, this day is for you at least in my eyes and also if you have a an animal you're a cat you're a cat mom or a dog mom <laughs> happy mother's day strawberries make sure you get some nice juicy strawberries after you clean your strawberries you're gonna want to go ahead and get a paper towel a napkin or something and dab each strawberry dry make sure that it's dry because if your strawberry is wet and you try to dip it in chocolate it's not gonna really stick on right and it's gonna mess up the chocolate. One of the most important things when it comes to making a chocolate covered fruit is the chocolate that you use. So many times I see it when people make chocolate covered fruit and they use that cheap chocolate, like the chocolate coating. No, 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 no. If you're gonna make this, you need to go all the way out. Quick fun fact for you guys, a couple years ago, actually like, five years ago my sister used to work for edible arrangement and she asked me to go help her like during the holiday or valentine's day season yeah so i really liked edible arrangements fruit and i was like oh yeah bet i'm going so i went and i worked for them for a little bit <laughs> i was a helper but i really saw how they made all the chocolate covered fruit and it was just a bomb great experience so that's why i'm saying just really invest in good chocolate when you're trying to make something like this don't don't half ass it okay if you're gonna half ass it just don't even make it so back to what i was saying the chocolate that i normally use is semi sweet chocolate but you know all this coronavirus stuff going on for some reason people need chocolate I'm not too sure why but there was no semi sweet chocolate all they had was milk chocolate and that's okay honestly that's fine i like sweet stuff so it's okay for me also have the Giardelli white chocolate so also very good chocolate and then i have the piping bags to use to decorate i'm not too sure if i'm gonna take it that far decorating it we'll see <laughs> everyone knows what this chocolate is so i don't even have to explain this chocolate i'm actually gonna use this to kind of decorate the box i had this really good idea to add like the individual pieces you know the small tiny pieces of the chocolate from this chocolate bar and place it on the strawberry it sounds nice in my head hopefully it works out <laughs> i have these that we're gonna place each individual strawberry in everything that i have is gold i just felt like since this chocolate was gold everything had to be gold that way it matched tissue paper i'm not too sure if i'm gonna use it but i got it there just in case i also have the box that we're gonna place everything in what i like about this box is that it has a little peep through hole so you can kind of see the strawberry i really wanted to use a different kind of box like a really more fancier cute a box to place everything in that's pretty a plain box but 
it's okay that's all i have access to right now so i'm sure it will work and then i have this ribbon twill i don't even know what you call this but it's very glittery so i'm gonna use this to make a cute big bow on top of the box when it's all done and ready to be packaged and the last but not least i have some roses quick tip whoever you're giving this package to i would get their favorite color of flowers I just got the red ones because the person I'm giving this box to, she's very girly, so I think she'll like this. So I have a bowl here and I have some water boiling. Make sure you have your strawberries close by because we're just going to do the dipping as soon as the chocolate melts. We're going to use a double boiler process. Basically what that is, I have water boiling in a pot and you're going to get a bowl about the size of your pot. That way it can sit right on top of the boiling water or the hot water. And then we're just going to go ahead and add our chocolate. And honestly, you can just put your chocolate in a bowl into the microwave. That works perfectly fine. Just make sure that you're stirring it until it gets to the consistency or runny, um, however you would like your chocolate. I just kind of like this process better. That way it, my chocolate stays warm, but it's completely up to you. So we're going to go ahead and start dipping. Hopefully I can do this with one hand because <laughs> this is a little hard recording and trying to do the whole process. I'm going to put everything actually to my left. The smart thing to do is to actually have parchment paper. I completely forgot to go look for it while at the store. Every time I record a video, I'm always forgetting something. But I always make it work. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dip the strawberries and then place them right back onto here. So when they dry, I can just, you know, pull them back up my strawberry dip it on both sides and then make sure you're pinching the leafy part of it and a tip that I learned from edible arrangements was kind of twist it like that and then place it down and like that beautiful chocolate covered strawberry and just hope it doesn't stick to this thing because lord ooh, I'm gonna be so mad I literally told you guys I was winging this and I'm not lying I really should have got parchment paper just don't forget the, the parchment paper like I did I need to start doing this more often because I really did used to like doing this. And this is a juicy strawberry. And it's so crazy because when I was growing up, we used to have these neighbors and they used to grow strawberries. And we used to always go stealing their strawberries. But I don't remember the strawberries just being this big because the strawberries I saw were really tiny. So I don't know what they're doing to our fruit or what, but I don't know. This is abnormally big. Compared to like homegrown strawberries, maybe I'm wrong. I mean, I just have never seen a really huge homegrown strawberry. These just look too good. Okay, I'm a pro. You guys, I completely forgot about me wanting to put the little piece of chocolate. Okay, I'm going to do it on a really big one like this. So, <gasps> No, hopefully it doesn't fall. So maybe it has to be like halfway dry but not too wet. I'm trying to apply a little bit of pressure to it so it can stay. Okay, that's cute. Okay, look, I know what I'm doing, y'all. That's cute. Uh, I'm only gonna do it on a couple of them, though, because I want to drizzle some white chocolate on the other ones. <laughs> yeah, why are you leaving? Anyways, I just wanted to show him the cute little piece of chocolate that I put on it because I was very proud of them. Like, I do this, okay? Anyway, so there's a little bit of chocolate still left. And I'm actually going to use that ah, to drizzle on top of some of the other ones. Maybe I should use milk chocolate more often because I actually like the taste of it. A little better than the semi-sweet chocolate that I normally use. So I'm going to do some dark milk chocolate on top of the milk chocolate. And then I'll go ahead and melt some white chocolate. The way down. And then you have this. So I'm going to go ahead and do a little snip, ah, a really small snip of the bottom. Yeah, that should work. I'm going to wait for this to kind of cool down because, no, I'm not actually. I only have one strawberry left. Why did I forget to coat this one? Oh, well. Hmm. Okay. So I'm going to make a little snip, snip. Push all this down and make sure your snip isn't, your cut isn't too big. Yep, perfect. Whew, I'm getting nervous. 
I'm nervous. So now we're going to do the white chocolate. You don't need too much, just enough that you're going to use to drizzle. And be very careful when you're melting your white chocolate because white chocolate has a habit of like burning. I don't know why, just be very careful, okay? <laughs> Especially if you're doing it in the microwave. So I have this on like a lowish kind of because I really don't want it to burn. I'm going to eat some chocolate while I'm waiting. Mm -hmm. Tastes like nice quality chocolate to me. Ah! Give me my snip. I just want to make sure this one's perfect because I don't like the way the other ones turn out, but what can you do now? Perfect! Uh, okay. I'm nervous again. Okay. There we go. That's better. Okay, now we're talking. That's what it's supposed to look like, okay? Not the freak, ignore that. Okay, so my strawberries are all done. They look so yum. While we're waiting on our chocolates to cool down, we're gonna go ahead and start assembling the box. So this is actually a cupcake holder box and it comes with these cupcake inserts that we're not gonna use. Okay, so this is the top of the box that I was talking about. I actually could have made more strawberries, but hopefully it's fine. And I'm gonna assemble this. I'm trying to figure out how I can do this so it doesn't, can you see how it folds down? I never bought one of these boxes before, so when I say I'm winging it, I'm really winging it. Mm, I'm not too sure. We're just going to keep it moving. Because, look, you see how they keep folding in? I don't know what to do. Okay. So... I'm going to start by placing this down. I actually should have got some pink ones or red ones. But I don't think I remember seeing any of them. I'm not too sure if I like that setup, but we'll, we'll see in a minute. So I'm going to cut this part off. And I'm measuring it to make sure that it fits the box. And I'm going to cut at an angle because I hear that when you cut... I'm not too sure how true it is, but I hear that when you cut at an angle, it helps keep them alive longer. Like I said, I don't know how true that is, but I'm just going to cut at an angle. Okay. These flowers are actually, they weren't expensive. They were like $9. So there's no excuse as, if you're a man, there's no excuse as to why you're not spending $9 on your girl. I had these sitting in there with all the leaves, but I didn't really like the way that the leaves kind of took up the whole box. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and remove some of them. Go ahead and put them all back. And I'm kind of organizing them by color. I want all the red ones down first. With the pretty side facing me. They look so cute. Uh, okay. <laughs> and now I'm going to go in with the pink. And then light pink. Kind of like a pattern. Pink again. The dark pink. My strawberries are in the refrigerator just kind of cooling off. And so before they come out, I just want to make sure that I kind of know how the setup is going to be. I'm curious to know what is your favorite kind of chocolate if you have a favorite kind of chocolate comment down below and also what is your favorite color of rose or flowers because I love roses and I love the color red but when it comes to roses I don't know why my favorite color of roses are the orange or the peach the peach <laughs> the peach color roses I really think they're so cute so comment down below what your favorite color of roses are. Dang, if this thing will ever open. <laughs> they really don't want nobody stealing their stuff. <gasps> and this would have been a cute container to put some 
some more in. Dang it. I went ahead and organized the chocolates. I have them all faced this way, but they all say the, the name, the Ferrero Rocher, or however you say them. <sighs> because I'm just a perfectionist sometimes. At least when it comes to stuff like this for other people. For myself, I really don't care. Okay, it looks so cute. You can make this for your mom, your sister, your boyfriend, your wife, anyone. For any special occasion, graduation's coming up. Yeah, so this looks super, super cute and didn't take so long. And I also used this. I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna set this up too. I just used the case that the chocolates came in. All the ugly ones, we're just gonna eat those because they didn't make the cut. I wish I knew how to make super cute bows, but I don't. Maybe later on I'll try to figure it out, how to make really cute bows. But this one's not so bad. And there you have your cute little box that the chocolates came in with an individual, ah, it came off, with an individual um, chocolate covered strawberry. Super cute. So that's that one. And now with this one, this beauty, I don't want to, I don't really want to mess it up. So and now we're going to cover it and we're going to do the same thing. One chocolate left that just didn't make the cut because it just mm -hmm. it wasn't mm -hmm. cute and I, I'm sorry but I couldn't put you on there. You just weren't that cute. So hey. yeah. <laughs> hey. Hey. Mm. Hey. Oh. That's soft chocolate. Hey. This is the kind of chocolate you need hey. when you're making your strawberries. <laughs> I got chocolate on me. You know that. That chocolate is so good. I need some water now. As always, stay hydrated. And I'll get better at making bows, but right now I'm not the best. So I just kind of do it how I tie my shoe. That looks okay. It's not, it's not the cutest bow of the bunch, but... Okay, I'm watching a video because they're making fun of my bow. Of ribbon, Wait, hold on, are you going too fast? Ribbon, you'll make... And the upper part of the ribbon will go over the top. Okay, there girl, you, have um, you didn't do anything bow. different than what I did. She has 4 million views. Wow. Wow. See, she's making a bow. Four, four, four well, I mean, that's good. That's, that's, better. that's better than what it was. <laughs> that's better. It was bad. <laughs> okay, it, it looks better. Bad boy, bad boy. Tell me what to do. That's it, Adam? No. No? What you gonna do? Uh -uh. <laughs> Tell me what to do. <laughs> It looks better, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, this is the final product. It's all glittery, like Cinderella. Okay. <laughs> okay, all right, bye's, bye's. All right, guys, bye. <laughs>